I'm Yuka Takechi from my atelier in Japan. At this difficult time of the world, I have a special pleasure to send a video message to all of you from Japan. First, I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to Yuki Shinohara, an excellent Japanese pianist and my friend, Professor Douglas Finch, and the old staffs who prepare the concert. I do hope the situation in the world will get better, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the venue next year. Please come and see the live performance. This work has been composed based on haiku, the shortest style of poem of Japan. In the haiku which I have chosen, there are some key words. They are winter light, water, silent, and ephemera. Ephemera are small insects similar to mayflies. In the scene of this haiku, the small insect sometimes makes water ripples on the surface of silent water. At the same time, ephemera means transitoriness of time. I have composed this work as a landscape of sound. I would say that this music is an image of the ultimate beauty of silence, which this hike has. This work was commissioned by Kotaro Fukuma. He is also a brilliant Japanese pianist. His request for the new work was to use a subject of Japanese haiku as its material. The premiere was scheduled in February, called Winter Time. So I looked for a haiku which had an image of winter. And then I have met this beautiful haiku by Saisei Muro'o. I wanted to express in this composition the ultimate beauty of silence and the subtle movements of a femela which makes ripples on the water by piano.
Yes, certainly. In French, winter says hiver. It spells from H. I selected H note, which means B note, in English, as the center note of this music. In this composition, this B note expresses silence and stillness. On the other hand, I used limitedly a musical pattern in which an ephemera flies on the surface of water. This is a movement against silence. <laughs> For example, page 3, the process in which ripples are created on the surface of water clearly appears. The standstill surface is expressed by the B note. Haiku captures a scene of one single moment, as if it is a still picture. In this music, I draw the contrast between the ultimate silence and movement, inspired by Sai Sei's haiku. When I was young, I was attracted and influenced by the beauty of the resonance and harmony of the French music. Its acritude of the composition greatly influenced me. Such French composers as Debussy, Ravel, Messiaen and Boulez have been always special to me. Of course, I admire great composers such as Bach, Beethoven, Tumala and Wagner. Among the contemporary composers, I used to listen to the works of Berlio, Ligeti, Dutiu, to Cage, to Kultag often. The answer is yes and no. I am also a pianist and the piano is my instrument. For me, piano is a source to get the resonance of my compositional idea. When I compose, I listen to the music in my head first, with checking notes and sounds by the piano sometimes, and compose constructed music on the seat. In any type of instrumentation of my composition, I compose my music very carefully. Therefore, 
Musical details are so important. The detailed and the precise directions on the score are very important guideline for my composition. Now, I check some notes on the piano, but basically I compose in my head and on the seat. For example, sometimes I'm commissioned to write a new piece for traditional Japanese instrument. Unfortunately, I cannot play instruments such as koto and shakuhachi. In this case, I learned instruments directly from the players. And together, we try to find a new way for the instrument and make music. The resonance and the sense of space is important element in my work. In this work, winter lights, extreme tension and the beauty of resonance should be created by using the whole body of piano. The pianist is required to listen to the resonance with the utmost attention. I'm sure Yukiko will perform wonderfully to realize my intention for this work. Hello, um, I'm Yukiko, the pianist who is going to perform Yuka's piece in New Lights Festival next year, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I would describe her piece and Yuka's music in general as um, very refined, sophisticated and very polished and beautiful, of course. So that's the approach uh, you need to take as a pianist. And if you listen to the first half a minute of this piece, um, maybe you wouldn't realise that it uses only two different notes for the entire half minute. And so it has lots of space and you need to really play through silences and stillness. So that requires a different kind of concentration of listening more than playing. And I personally um, don't tend to actually visualize the images of this haiku subject. I just feel it through the music and through the sound. And this wonderful piece certainly allows me to do that. <laughs> 